Okay, we are playing against 2000 Elo engines, so let's play C4. We are playing the English opening. Let's see what he's going to play. Okay, so he's playing um, E6. Let's go E4. I guess we are going to try. Hmm. So he's playing uh, sort of like a gambit. Hmm. Okay, so let's take this pawn. Interesting. So now, <clears throat> basically, we're up a pawn. We have a very, very nice uh, position. We can try to develop naturally, of course. Yeah, this move I don't really get. Like, what's the idea? I mean, if, if you are a 100 dealer, you can fall for those tricks, but yeah, we're not going to fall for that, of course. Okay, um, well, he found a way in order to restrict us, but immediately we can actually play knight to f3, but he can take in between, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, um, okay, so let's just keep the position safe. Okay, we can go for a queen, tra a queen trade, of course, and now we got f3 in this position, which is very good with a tempo on the bishop. And yeah, it's, it feels like the position is uh, already quite better now. Pushing is nice, but he, our uh, knight is still stuck, so let's play with the other knight, and maybe then a3, just relieving some pressure. Okay, and we can basically improve the position and maybe consider uh, d5 when the moment is ready. So d5, basically, we can push, he takes, I take, he take, I take, so this is actually nice. The downside is that we don't really want to bring the knight any space. So for now, let's put a rook on the C file, which is open. Okay, and yeah, let's move the knight, sorry, the king to F2. And we are trying to play it uh, quite aggressive, of course. Okay, and now this is a blunder because now this bishop is stuck. Yeah, so as you see, um, if I'm going to take, he can take with the knight and then try to release the pressure, but yeah, um, why should we allow that? So let's just capture the bishop. As you see, an early blunder and yeah, not not the brightest game. We can take with the knight or with the king. Well, taking with the king, uh, we're going to stop knight g4. Taking with the knight, we're going to get, to get some more space. Okay, so let's take with the knight actually. And we're up a piece. Let's try to exchange rooks. Okay, I would like to exchange as much as possible because as you see we are up a piece, so let's simplify everything. Thank you for that. So being up a piece, basically you want to improve and improve and just uh, exchange as much, much as possible. Okay, so we can uh, play e5 in this position. Um, we can play e5. Hmm, what do you want to play, guys? Okay, let's first maneuver the knight to the center. Okay, as you see, he's got some pressure, I guess. Hmm, okay, so... Of course, we don't really want to blunder anything. Okay, so for now, we are completely okay. Let's see what he's going to play. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, sorry. Uh, knight g4, but, of course... Mm, yeah, he's going to take it with a check, so let's just improve everything and then maybe take the bishop. So let's take. Okay, now as you see, he's trying to basically control some space and maybe uh, play for the queen side, but again, we want to force an exchange, so we want to play aggressive as possible. So for now, let's develop the knight trying to improve. We still need to keep an eye on the king side and the queen side because, as you see, he still got some, um, he still got some activity, and we need to make sure that we are not blundering anything. And also, we want to exchange this bishop for the sorry, this knight for this bishop. So we need to try to find a counterplay. Um, basically, we can try to maneuver it around. Um, 
Okay, so for now let's keep improving. Okay, let's take. Okay, and I guess if king e5, we will try to basically push the pawn. But we want to basically put as much as, as pressure as possible. So let's. Mm, okay, so let's move here. I guess we'll try to push to save the pawn. Okay, but now we can try to win this pawn. And we can try to play with some activities. So let's see. Okay, and we are going to try to win this pawn as soon as possible. Okay, okay, so now it's basically trying to pin the knight, but this bishop is also protecting the knight, so it's not really well blundering anything. Okay, so it didn't win for that. Let's play with the tempo, and again, we are up a piece. We're going to be winning this. So we just need to make sure that we are playing it correctly and everything is going to be completely fine. And of course we don't really want to give him too much activity. Okay, as you see we are trying to avoid... Um, to, to not really give him any, any space. So for now, let's maneuver the knight back with the, with the tempo. Okay, now I can actually take, and I think this is going to be winning. The downside that he can actually win this uh, pawn if I'm not careful. Okay, so let's improve it. Let's try to make him take. Okay, and now I can actually take and take. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so let's take. And yeah, I'm not, I don't really love the idea that he's too close to my pawn because this might end up in a draw if I'm not careful. And we don't want to end up in a draw after all this, uh, after all of this game. So let's push the pawn, trying to basically block the king from entering into the position. Okay. And yeah, I think that I misplayed this. Yeah. I think that I actually misplayed it. We don't really have anything. We don't really have a check. Okay, so let's try to save it. But yeah, being up a night doesn't really going to help us. Yeah, I kind of misplayed it. So it's going to be a draw, unfortunately. Can we maybe save it? Maybe, maybe save it. Um, yeah, we don't. If we can maybe block... Yeah, we don't really have anything, unfortunately. You can try to win this pawn. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we got something. Yeah, I'm going to draw this game. Yeah, we cannot really save this pawn. Um, yeah, so let's play for a draw. And let's take this pawn. Yeah, so it was a draw. The engine played well, even though we were up a piece. But... Still, let's see the game. Let's see what were the, our mistakes. So we played like uh, 85 accuracy and uh, we played it like uh, 19, 19, uh, 1950, so it was a good match. But let's see what was the blunder. So everything was good. Okay, of course, this is a blunder. You're going to lose the bishop this way. Okay, so... Everything was okay, so where did I miss what was my blunder? Let's see guys. Okay, for now it's plus 6 for white, so we are still winning. Okay, so this is the accuracy. Let's see knight e2. Okay, so I get it. Knight e2 basically... Uh, it cannot really enter the position. Pushing the pawn is not really going to help. Okay, so knight e2, knight c1. That was what I was missing. So, yeah, I kind of misplayed it, unfortunately. Uh, the next move. Um, yeah, taking the pawn was also really bad. Uh, before was actually the best move. Plus 6. Yeah, and now I could have saved it. Okay, so... 
And yeah, sometimes I can uh, mess up my game completely. It was very, very good until until that point, which uh, B3 was actually very misplayed by me. Again, I was trying to basically uh, trying to stop the king from entering into the position, but uh, knight e2 was actually far more better in the position, as you see knight e2. And now knight c1 is very, very strong, so I kind of misplayed it. Uh, yeah, still, I hope it was instructive, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.